Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we're going to look at um, a, some pencils here. Well, actually, two variations of the same pencil because they came together. I picked these up uh, in the fall during sort of the tail end of school supply season. And I want to say this was about a dollar ninety nine uh, for this two pack of Ticonderoga. Um, my first Ticonderoga pencil and bonus pack it came with a sharpener. And there were uh, you had got two pencils in every package and I think all the ones in the store I was at, they were all blue and yellow. So I don't know if there were other color combinations available, uh, but these pencils obviously are designed for young learners. So I wanted to give them a try. You can see they are 2HB. Um, you get the sharpener was the bonus here. And then if we look here, my first Ticonderoga triangle shape uh, and it indicates that here for better grip. Now I have seen these triangular Ticonderogas marketed elsewhere as triconderogas but here they're just calling this a Ticonderoga which is triangle shaped for better grip. Uh, and then it says the perfect oversized beginner pencil. You can see they are pre-sharpened. And we'll look on the back here. Ticonderoga, my first Ticonderoga. 2HB, certified non-toxic, thick durable lead core, prevents easy breaking, latex free eraser, it has the seal of the Pencil Makers Association, Dixon Ticonderoga. Um, let's see, copyright 2020, made in China. So these are, these are from the Chinese facility. Uh, not, uh, they also make pencils in Mexico. So I'm going to open this and I'm actually going to take this sharpener out. You can see the sharpener they give you uh, has the wide opening because these are large pencils. Um, and I'm going to pull out the blue one because why not? And let's take a look at this pencil. Ticonderoga, my first try right. Uh, number two, which they put in a triangle, uh, HB. Uh, it has the uh, trademark ferrule of Triconderoga uh, with the green uh, metal at, with the two yellow stripes. And it has a eraser to match the paint of the pencil there in blue. Um, I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I'm trying to angle it a little bit so that you can see the imprint here is in green foil. Uh, so really on a yellow Ticonderoga, you know, you're, it's always usually a green foil imprint and this is no exception. So we'll do a top down here. You can see triangular shape barrel there with a fairly thick graphite core. The ferrule uh, looks to be glued on uh, rather than crimped on, which is generally what Ticonderoga does. Um, and it, there's an imprint here. It's very hard to see. I don't know that the camera can quite pick it up. Well, anyways, it's probably a, just a manufacturing a run, uh, manufacturing run code. Uh, for this pencil. Not sure of the wood. It does have a kind of a reddish tint to it. Mm, I'm not 
picking up any particular cedar smell um, but it does have a slightly red tint to it and it doesn't make any reference on the package to what kind of wood it is so let me get some pencil uh, I'm sorry let me get some paper and we will give this pencil a try all right so let me just say from the onset that it is a comfortable pencil to hold Okay, um, first impressions, fairly smooth, um, and of course it has the wide, I'm going to, um, whoop, the wide graphite, I'm going to, tr I'm going to try the sharpener, I just am anxious to see if it's really any good. hear it crunching away. Okay, uh, it's not a great sharpener, I'll tell you. Uh, does put a point on it though. <laughs> Leaves a bit of a mess everywhere. Um, so I think you'd be better off if you have a another kind of sharpener that would accommodate the pencil um, to use to use that. But it is comfortable. Okay. All right. Let's do a quick test here of erasability on this pencil. I'm going to start with the attached eraser. Um, I would say fair uh, in terms of its performance. Let's try a Pentel eraser on this graphite. Better. I think you can see you know, there's a slight shadowing here, but the Pentel really does lift it off the page. Let's try this foam eraser. Also, good job. And we will try another Dixon product here, the Pink Carnation. And see how it does. Good. So, uh, I think, uh, raceability is a solid B+. Plus. Um, you know, the, the attached eraser, which I think probably for a lot of kids using it, is going to be their go-to uh, for erasing this pencil, only does really a fair job. But if you have a good block eraser, it's certainly a very erasable pencil.
yeah. Okay. You know what? Uh, overall, a comfortable pencil. I think for a young learner uh, who is learning to write um, with little fingers, this gives pencil gives you a lot of surface area to hold on to. Uh, also, for people who maybe have issues with dex some dexterity, uh, holding a a pencil that is narrower, this frankly uh, might be a good option. Uh, it is fairly smooth. Um, and uh, it does leave a nice line, very much a number two uh, in its, in its uh, depth and in its tone. And uh, you know what? It was fun to try. And gosh, you got a lot of pencil here for a buck. Um, and so I like this pencil. And I think, again, it would, it's really a nice pencil for young students. So thanks for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again here on Always Analog.